Hello, welcome to another cube breakdown. Uh, there are two reasons why I wanted to show you this one. The first one is I got paid for it again via Pond5. And secondly, you could make this pretty much today without spending any money because it's all free libraries. Let's have a listen to the track. And what I would do is pay attention to where the different elements drop in. You can see there's a big chunk in the middle that's the breakdown section and the flute in yellow is where a sort of melody line comes in to start with and ends with and the rest of it is just layering in and out the different sounds. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Okay, there you have it. Um, so, as I said at the beginning, the reason I picked this one is it's from a couple of years ago, but it still keeps generating um, money. Um, if I play around with stuff, experimenting, and it doesn't go to a library or uh, get signed anywhere, I tend to put stuff up on Pond5 um, because it can sit there, generate some interest, and you tag it correctly, and you just get paid every time somebody buys it. Um, so that's one reason. The other reason is because all of these instruments you can get for free because it is the BBC SO, but it is the Discover edition. So this is, at the moment, this is free to download from Spitfire Audio. So you get the different sections, violins, one, two, viola, celli, basses, your woods, your percussion and your brass. The only thing that is behind a sort of paywall of sorts is the fact that I've used Latin percussion um, from the drummer in Logic. So if you haven't got Logic, you'll have to come up with a way to do these rhythms. So let's just do the rhythms first. You notice I don't have any rhythm to start with. Um, that's quite common in sort of production music that you introduce a percussion element to add interest as you go along. So this first one uh, has just got uh, these 
Congo. Then, when we get to this section, I think you'll have seen this as I did the playthrough, I decided, instead of just copying the same section over and over again, if you want to add interest, add elements. So I think I've added the triangle here and picked a, either my light. That may have stayed the same for the rest. Oh no, there we go. Congos and bongos there. And that is at the end. So there you go. There's just three different layers of different percussion. If you haven't got logic, uh, you just need to come up with some sort of way of getting a percussion. Right, the rest of it, you could set up yourself. Uh, it is happy sort of dramedy. So everything I've done here is in pizzicato. So violins one, two, the bass and the viola. The thing that drives it actually is the harp. So this just plays the chords all the way through. And it really is not overly complicated. We are just doing... Um, so it's a C. That's like a C sus four. And then to change to the F, start the ostinato on the bottom note. Pretty much alternates between that. I think there's a slight change to a G there for a bit of variation, but pretty much the entire track is on C, F and G. Um, now let's have a listen to the pizzicato violins. What I will say actually is I have slightly panned these left and right. Um, the Pro Edition has lots more microphone options, um, but if you're using the Core, it's probably a good idea to think about using some panning to try and get a bit more of uh, a spatial feel. So these are panned slightly to the left. Now they are then joined later on here by violin two to the right. And that's because it creates quite a nice stereo effect almost like a call and response underlying those we, we have the bass and this is fairly simple to be honest just starting on the offbeat and it pretty much does that the entire way through moving on to viola slightly different variation but still using the same uh, idea just a bit less busy and slightly offset so when they all come in uh, let's use an end section Like I say, that's core, and the violin two, that's core, just to prove. There we go, not using anything fancy, it's all free. Uh, the flute, yeah. So this is just doing a nice simple melody. Slightly panned to the left, 
no, that's the pizzicato. This is slightly pan to the right for the flutes. Uh, the harp we've already looked at, that was down the middle, mainly because it's the driving element, so we just keep it in the centre. And then the xylophone is this uh, section that comes in towards the end. Nothing fancy, just repeated. A couple of repeated notes. Sort of in response to the bass. And that just builds up as it goes through. Then you've got the glock. This is a very simple pattern. Just, outline, just outlining each of the chords. And then we're back to percussion. So when it all comes in at the end, you notice everything is in. And that's the sort of thing you want to be aiming for in terms of structure. So come up with some different parts that you want to mix together. So get your violin one, two, bass and violas out on pizzicato and start messing around creating a tune. Uh, you can add a bit of flute for a melody, uh, but don't keep it going the whole way through. That would become quite irritating. Um, the harp underpins everything, so it's not, um, it doesn't stick out. There you go, OBS interfering with my uh, plugins again. Um, and so flute, harp, xylophone, glock, and then get some percussion um, job done. The only other thing I really wanted to show you was how I've then sort of mixed this. So I have gone through and there's not that much that I've done apart from the panning to make it sound good. What I've done is then I've added a, on the output, the stereo out, I've got a space designer uh, just to put it into a nice hall. Then there is the exciter, which is just boosting frequencies around uh, 2000. Uh, then I put on a multipressor. This was the pop compressor default. And I've got the stereo spread, only spreading the top frequencies. There is a gain plugin which I didn't end up using. And then finally, the adaptive limiter to push it to negative 0.1, which these days, this was a while ago I'd done that, I would put this to negative one. Um, there you go. That's an overview of a happy dramedy. Uh, cute. Did you like and subscribe? Always appreciate it. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.